So far we've created a database, we've uploaded all the files and folders, we've set up our config file, and now we're ready to finish our installation. <clears throat> and remember what we talked about, make sure that this file right here, which is a zip file, is uploaded with everything else. You see it over here. And as I mentioned earlier, once the installation is complete, this will change to import buddy uh, uh, backup. Okay. So what we need to do now is take the import buddy and copy that and then open up a browser window and type in our domain name forward slash this import buddy. Well, let's do that now. As you can see, I've opened up a browser window and I've typed in the domain name plus import buddy and we'll do our search now. And what happens now is we open up the installation uh, screens for the uh, import buddy. Now, you'll notice that it tells us that the backup files are included. This is the file that is going to uh, open now. Now, if you get an, an error message here that there's no backup files, it's normally because we didn't include that zip file. Okay. So the next uh, uh, move now is, is click on next step. And here, leave the radio button checked. Migrate to new server. Click on next. Now I've found on all of these that I've set up so far the extracting files in the path attempting high-speed extraction always fails but if you look down it says the slower method is done and so files were extracted so we're successful at that uh, at this point click again on next step and now we're asked to put in the database the database user and the database password again you can see the uh, the wisdom of making our database name and the database user the same So I've, I've pasted in the uh, database name, database user, and the password. Leave the database prefix set at WP. Now you click on uh, test database settings and it will tell you if you're correct or not. And as you can see, everything is successful. So we're ready now to click on the next step. And you'll see now that we've got a report that everything has been done successfully. Import is complete. And now we're going to uh, delete the import and the migration file. So we'll click on this link. Now, what happens here, and you'll find this explained in his documentation if you read it, that what this is trying to do is it's going to delete the import uh, a buddy uh, file and, uh, and the backup file. Now you'll find out that, the, that you're going to get a, uh, a warning here that it, that it didn't work, but uh, according to his documentation, all you really need to do is to delete the uh, import buddy file and we'll do that back in our FTP program. Other than that, we should be pretty well finished. Let's go back to FTP to delete that file. Now back with our FTP program, you can see that this zip file we loaded is still showing. That's because I have not refreshed this. Once I refresh the page, this should disappear. This should, uh, or this one right here, should disappear. And this is the one that we're going to delete. All right, you can see now that this file that was originally a zip file after we've completed our uh, installation is now changed to an import buddy PHP. I'm sorry, import buddy text. And what we're going to do is delete the import buddy PHP that we used to do the installation. So I'm going to highlight this and click on delete. And now we can go look at our website. Alright, I've, I've gone back now to the uh, browser, 
that we used to complete our installation. And what I'm going to do is remove everything from the address bar except the exact domain. And we'll do a search. And if everything went properly, we should see a uh, brand new website. Okay, so that completes the installation. And uh, now we can move on to uh, inserting our own personal ClickBank ID, our Ad AdSense ID, and if uh, you're going to use uh, Amazon, also those.